Welcome to the introduction to our Food Different by Design National Science Week unit um, for Year 8. So I'm just going to give you a quick recap in this video about why are we actually having a unit on this? Why is it important? And then I'll show you how to navigate around um, the OneNote that we will be using as a tool in our class during this unit, as well as what to expect, what we're going to learn about, and what we're going to be pre preparing for the 17th of August. Now that falls onto um, the official National Science Week, which is held between the 14th and the 22nd of August. Um, last year, the theme and the topic was the blue economy. And this year we have the privilege of going over a new and different and exciting topic called Food Different by Design. Um, so our focus in year eight is going to be looking at um, a, a, well, getting students to design a range of food solutions. So it wants us to look at sustainable food futures. So, sorry, the focus for year eight will be rainwater harvesting systems for the BGS kitchen garden, um, you know, creating a design to collect water in a system to allow crops to grow self-sufficiently uh, and students will be required to produce a 3D model if successful. So this year, the topic, National Science Week, um, it wants to educate and inspire kids thinking to encourage individuals, um, you know, to look at those food futures. Every day we need to eat. Uh, food is our fuel for life. We need to think about um, how can we eat well. And so in December 2019, the United Nations created two new international days. And one of the new international days is devoted to um, issues relating to food and agriculture. And the 29th of September is an international day of awareness of food loss and waste. So I've got this image here um, where it's got all of the different um, sustainable development goals and we will be focusing on the second one, so Zero Hunger. This is a really awesome tool over here, this website here, where we can have a look at in more detail about the second goal, about ending hun hunger, achieving food security, improving nutrition, and promoting sustainable agriculture. Um, currently, we're living in a really interesting time, and um, you know there are COVID-19 implications the pandemic is an additional threat to our food systems. So, um, you know, the small scale food producers are hit the hardest by this crisis and compromising 40% to 85% of all food producers in developing regions. Um, so, you know, we've got this um, website here. If we click on, we can actually see all of the different um, goals over here, you can see that they have eight targets. Um, they've got 772 actions already and 24 events going on related to this goal that we're looking at. Um, and you can see all of the different ones here. We've also got the history um, and you can have a look at that in your own time. Mm -hmm. So going back to our one note, this particular unit here, we've got um, you know topics relating around water cycle and water management. We're going to be looking at rainwater garden, creating and planning and the presentation. So water cycle and water management specifically, um, we can see over here, um, we'll, we'll discover how much water is actually consumed in producing food and why it's important to be sustainable revolving around that. Um, so just for example, take 70 litres of water to make one apple juice. Um, 140 litres of water to make one cup of coffee. Um, we all love our coffee in Melbourne. And so throughout this unit, students will be focusing on these questions. Um, how can we use water efficiently in food production? How can we achieve a sustainable food culture? How do we manage water and what are factors that are affecting the water cycle? What is stormwater and how can it be used? And what is the importance of recycling rainwater? Um, there is information about what you should already know. Um, you know, only 2% of our water on earth is a, approximately fresh water. Um, 
you know, the majority of that is trapped underground or frozen glaciers in the north and south poles where it can't actually be used. Um, and only 0.01% of all the water on Earth is renewable fresh water and is available for use. So, um, you know, we'll have a look at this in more detail. Um, I do want to show you some information about what's happening in our own city, in the city of Melbourne. So you will be doing an investigation um, on this particular page that I'm just skimming through um, in your class and your teacher will explain to you how that particular session will be run for you. Um, moving on to rainwater garden and resources over here. Um, stormwater is something that isn't really spoken about. Um, you know, it's water that falls on our roofs, roads, footpaths. It runs off immediately straight into um, our gutters, which is known as stormwater. Um, it then, you know, some new suburbs, their stormwater is being collected in tanks and pits. Um, you know, right now in many parts of Australia, this there are attempts being made to um, use stormwater uh, where, and, you know, the harmful substances are removed and the water is used to irrigate parks and sports fields and um, to water streets, um, uh, well, the trees and the different shrubs that may be in our streets. So this video here um, specifically talks about stormwater harvesting at Fitzroy Gardens. Um, again, after you listen to this introduction, um, your teacher again will walk you through and guide you through these lessons where you will explore all of those different things. And finally, you will get up to actually creating and planning your own model where you'll be thinking about how can you create a system for our very own kitchen garden. You'll be using this um, creating and planning journal. Um, so that's a resource provided by the National Science Week um, organization and you can find that online as well. So um, it goes through all the key principles, um, defining a problem, it, finding our problem. We've got questions that we'll, I've already spoken to you about that we can be looking at, discovering so our research. Um, so also reflecting on what have we learned um, about our so solution. Once we have designed and written down all of our steps that we needed to take to create our solution, um, we want to then dissect it and see what worked well and what didn't well, what didn't work well. So I'm personally really excited about this. I hope you are too. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of the different types of ideas that are going to be created out of this particular unit. So thanks for tuning in and um, yeah, enjoy.